The topic of this chapter will be the protection offered by the Geneva Conventions to persons who are most vulnerable in times of war. As we will see, these conventions establish a distinction between combatants and civilians. Indeed, both categories of individuals are submitted to different regimes of protection. On the one hand, combatants are protected when they are hors de combat and fall into the power of the enemy through injury, sickness, being shipwrecked or captured. Geneva Conventions 1 and 2 organize the protection of injured, sick and shipwrecked persons, while Geneva Convention 3 protect prisoners of war, POWs. On the other hand, Geneva Convention 4 submits civilians to a larger regime of protection which is applicable so long as they do not participate in the hostilities. As we know, a part of Geneva Convention 4 is also dedicated to the protection of individuals who are placed under the authority of a foreign occupying power. I should note at the outset that the distinction between combatants who are entitled to POW status by Geneva Convention 3 and civilians protected by Geneva Convention 4 has raised many debates over the last decade. This is because of the rise of individuals who do not, as such, belong to armed forces, but nevertheless participate in hostilities. The so-called unprivileged combatants or terrorists. The presence of private military companies on the theater of hostilities has also raised problems. I will study in detail how these persons fit into the classification envisaged by IHL. In non-international armed conflict, there is no combatant or POW status. Thus, strictly speaking, they are only persons enjoying varying degrees of protection according to whether they are involved in the hostilities. I will begin by assessing the protection in international armed conflict of POWs, civilians and wounded and sick persons in turn. Then, I will briefly analyze the protection of individuals whose territory is under occupation. I will conclude by making some observations on the protection of individuals in non-international armed conflict and, in particular, of those who are detained for reasons relating to the hostilities. <laughs>